Okay, so I showed you how to draw the X bearing block using the sketch, but there's another method that you can use. Uh, I prefer the sketch, but I thought I would show you this method just uh, so you'd have a little bit different way of doing things. Uh, I'm going to go to New Design. Let me turn my grid on here. Okay. So instead of using the sketch, uh, you can go to Create Cylinder. I want to select this back plane here and the center line. And then, I mean inches again, let me change this to metric. Okay. Go up to Create Cylinder. Select the back plane. And 55 millimeters and then I want to make this cylinder three point three five millimeters okay I want to right click repeat cylinder And I want to make it 35 millimeters. And I want to go this direction. Make it join, select join. And I want to go 3 millimeters. Excuse me, uh, let's see. 6.35 millimeters. There we go. Select OK. And then once again, right click, repeat cylinder. And then this one needs to be 20. And we want to cut it through, like so. OK. And a couple other things. Go to the front view here. Okay, then I want to go up to circular pattern. I want to click on that point. I want to select the center. I want to put four. Click OK. Uh, now you can stop the sketch. Go to create hole. Select the hole. Um, we want the depth to be 6.35 millimeters. We want the diameter to be 4.1, and that should be good. We want to select all four dots and click OK. All right, and then we want to put a chamfer on this edge, this edge, and this edge. And we want it to be 0.5 millimeters. Select OK. And there you have your bearing block. Uh, it is a little bit simpler to do it this way. Maybe. But some things are just easier to do with the sketch. I like doing them with the sketch. It's just easier for me, but this is a different method. So I thought I'd just kind of show you that real quick. So you have that in your library. So if you have any questions or any tips for Fusion 360, please comment. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And most importantly, be safe.